The other day, I got a comment or a request to show a seven to one, and and uh, the person writing the comment was saying he, he couldn't find any examples of a seven to one, and uh, they are hard to find. But I'm going to show you today um, three examples of a seven to one. Okay, and uh, I already got one form put together. And I'm going to deconstruct this and show you how to do it. Um, but this is a six to one slash seven to one right now. But I'm going to deconstruct this and show you how to do this. And the easiest way to make a seven to one is to use triple shift pulleys. Okay, that's that's uh, by far your easiest way. It's uh, the most compact and the most clean example of how to do this. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to make this. And if you watch my other video on how to make a block and tackle, um, this is can be somewhat close to that if I can get this untied. But you'll need for this example, you'll need triple triple shivs, and you'll need at least one with a becket on it. Okay. The other one doesn't have to have it. Okay, so take this over here and then we'll just pull it all out. Okay, so you're gonna start with your, I found the easiest way to construct these block and tackles is to put it in the vertical position. Just take your rope and your outer shiv Find your other one. Just take it through there. And then be consistent in the same direction. Find your middle. And then go to your outer. Okay, and this termination is going to go into your becket. And I just use a poacher's knot for that. Okay, just give yourself plenty of tail. And then <clears throat> tie your poachers and then cinch it up. Okay. And now what I've tied or created is a in this configuration is a six to one okay because this last turn right here is basically a change of direction okay so if i lift this up i've got a six to one system right now so it's sort of like the set of fours it could either be a four to one or a five to one this can be a seven to one all you have to do is take these and switch them okay but before i do that i'm gonna put a progress capture in here and i just use a, a prusik for that okay that's gonna go up into my carabiner okay so now when I lift I can hold my load okay and then to raise the pressic will jam up against the pulley and open itself while I let go it's gonna grab okay but again this is in the the six to one configuration okay to lower I got keep that open and I can lower it okay now let's let's get a little more slack in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch these okay so this guy will be up here and we'll take this guy off Okay. 
let's just lower that. Be easiest. Sit that down here. Get my carabiner. And then we are just going to switch this. Okay, now I'm going to take the slack out. What I've created is a 7 to 1. Okay, simply because now this strand here is going in the pulling position with the load. Okay, so as I pull up, this is a 7 to 1 configuration. Okay, so if I were to use this in a long rope system because you're limited on, on a number of wraps you can do um, i would use this as a piggyback system so imagine a rope is going over a cliff or what have you this would be an independent system and then i would put this in the seven to one configuration and i would raise for this system uh, with a load catchment system on my main line okay but uh anyway this is version one. This is the easiest way of doing this for a seven to one. And this is a seven to one mechanical advantage rope system. So hang tight. I'll show you how to do it a different way. Okay, I mentioned earlier about a seven to one piggyback system. And here's a good example of what I was talking about. And this is in a seven to one configuration. So the green rope I've got the same triple shiv pulley system um, and it is in a 7-in-1 configuration to the anchor plate okay all this is going to be doing is raising that load okay so I've got a rope going to a change of direction pulley down to the log we're lifting now where I'm going to capture my load is right here on the green on the lighter green rope okay and I've got a tandem prusik okay so there's a little bit of a balancing act and uh, if you're short on pulleys or you're in a tight space this is a good way of lifting a load okay um, so how does it work pretty simple okay so I'm gonna raise with my seven to one okay as I raise I'm going to take up slack on my other rope, okay? So I'll just keep raising. Go ahead and finish the throw, okay? Take up slack. Now, if you have two people, another person would be taking up slack continuously on the main rope, okay? I'm going to sit my prussics, okay? And then I can let off tension on that if you look down here my log is off the ground I can reset my throw on my 7 to 1 okay and as you can see I don't have a very long rope here but it doesn't matter okay and this is this is called a piggyback system okay so I'm using Keep raising my load. It's a seven to one, so I have to pull seven feet to raise one foot. My slack out. Okay, that leaves. And there you go. That is a an example of a seven to one piggyback system to raise a load. Okay, I didn't know if I was clear on that when I showed the first example, so I wanted to show you how um, how this was used independently. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so here is version two, and it is essentially the same thing we've already done, except for we've used a double and a single together to create our three shivs on that. We've terminated to an anchor plate instead of a becket. And down here we have a double and a single pulley. 
okay so and again this is in the six to one configuration if i were to turn this upside down and pull straight up with the tail i'd have a seven to one um, and the only reason i'm showing it like this is it just looks cleaner and it's easier to uh, tie okay but uh nothing's changed other than there's more hardware and it's a little more clunky now by the same token we could also have three singles up here one two and three and three down here um, which works um, it just things are less compact and um, it's a little more clunky okay but uh, this is the six to one turn this upside down to where this is at the load and this is at the anchor that would be a seven to one Okay, it says version two. So I'm gonna show you one more way of doing this uh, to create your seven to one. Coming right up. Okay, and finally we have the complex seven to one. Okay, so I'm gonna let you look at this system and then I'm gonna show you the system in operation. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how to build it. It's, it's fairly simple. Um, it involves two different ropes, as you can see. But uh, to set the system, all you got to do is open these up, set your throw. Okay. Okay, so basically we have a three to one and on the tail to a three to one we have a rope grab which is a prusik and then we have this darker smaller green line is attached to part of the three to one with a pulley at the at the uh, tail of the three to one okay so here's your load strand coming in okay here's our uh, <clears throat> progress capture this red prusik it's coming around where we got our darker green um, the strand coming around the pulley it comes up it does the classic three to one with a rope grab up here this is the tail of the three to one and then we have another rope grab here with a pulley this green line, which started on the middle strand of the three to one, is captured right here. Okay, so to raise our load, we just pull our darker green line, and this is a seven to one. Now, notice how quickly this collapses. Okay, so we're going to set our prusik. Okay, now, in order to reset this, we'll take our tail, advance our darker green, and then we will repeat that process. Okay, and I'm at the top of my pulley up there, so I'm, not, I'm going to have to stop. Okay, so this is a complex 7 to 1. Okay, now, to build this, um, instead of deconstructing this whole thing, let's just trace it, and you'll see uh, how simple this is. Okay, so this is our load strand. It goes straight to the log we're lifting. Okay, it goes to our change of direction pulley at the anchor. We have our progress capture. We're following the same strand around to another pulley which is has a rope grab on that load strand this system alone right here is our three to one okay so on the tail of the three to one you want to tie a prusik okay put a pulley on that and then you want to also put a prusik right here on the middle strand of the three to one okay and this is going to create your 
seven in one system. Okay, but it, it requires two different ropes and three pulleys. Okay, now, um, in a future video, if you want me to do the T method on these to, to prove that these are seven and ones like I'm demonstrating, I'll be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments. But uh, this is it. So there's three different ways of tying or making a seven to one mechanical advantage system. They all have their pros and cons, okay? But uh, that's it in a nutshell. I hope this helps. And uh, hopefully the person that uh, requested this video gets to see it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.